helping others. And so one of the chapters in the book is called and chosen for service mm-hmm. because everything that God has assigned to our hands is going to require that we do something to be a blessing on planet Earth. And that the assignment that he's given for every life, there is a responsibility that goes along with that assignment. Mm-hmm. So part of the service could be someone working in a hotel mm-hmm. and they're serving the customers. But even those of us that minister in the body of Christ, we also provide service because when the people come in, to be ministered to, we pray for them. So everything on planet Earth requires that we right. do something, sure. we give something, Absolutely. and we give some type of service. Excellent, excellent. And so we are called to serve hurting humanity. We are called to serve hurting humanity. We're, so we're still looking for that particular thing mm-hmm. that God has given us to do to, do yeah. to bless those that are coming in. Very true. And Very in true. the world. Very true. Excellent, excellent. And you know, another thing that grabbed my attention about uh, the book is, is that um, God pursues. Yes. He pursues us all the time. All the time. Even when we're not pursuing Him. Amen. Very true. And so I want you to speak to that for a little bit. I was intrigued by uh, the story of Hannah uh-huh. that yeah. you you chose in the particular in the book. Yeah. Well, you know, God pursues all of us, and I think this the thing is that we think. That because we're away from God, that God is not pursuing. Mm-hmm. But God is in constant pursuit of us because he wants to bring us back into a right relationship with him. And in this particular instance, in, chap- in this chapter where I talk about the pursuit of the chosen, I really use the story of Gomer and Hosea, how God sent him out to marry a prostitute mm-hmm. because God was demonstrating his love that he had for the Israelites. They kept wow. walking away from God, abandoning him, following idol gods, gods worshiping idol gods. And God sent Hosea after this woman to marry a prostitute. Wow. And I made light of, in the, light of it in the book by saying the people probably thought Hosea was not really hearing from God. But God had a specific assignment for his life. And the assignment was God wanted to demonstrate to the Israelites how much he loved them. How every time they abandon him, he comes and pursues them. And so they, have, they had three children. And each one of the children were named because of the condition of the Israelites and how God was demonstrating his compassion for them, how he was pursuing them, how he loved them, how he wanted to bring them back into a relationship with himself. And so I love the story of Gomer, and I've always wondered, I wonder how she got into prostitution. What were the situations that plunged her into that life? But even in that, God went out after her. He was pursuing her. And after she married the prophet, the Lord took her from a life of insignificance to a life of significance. And she, there was something in her soul that still wasn't satisfied. Yes. And so she left her husband, she left her children, and she went back to prostitution. Mm-hmm. And when she got back into prostitution, this time, however, she was sold into slavery. And God told Hosea to go after her wow. a second time. Absolutely. So he continued to pursue her and pursue her until God brought her back in. And God was able to finish the work he had begun, begun in her heart. As it is with some of us. Yes. There are so many of us who have found ourselves going back to the thing that God has brought us out of. And so as we look today as it, at Job's book, uh, chosen, called, and called mm-hmm. for destiny, mm-hmm. yeah. as we look back and see where God has actually brought us from. Mm-hmm. I know, you know, in our own personal lives, we can think of or recall times when we had a love for God. But then it seemed like things weren't quite working for us in an area of our lives. So we had a tendency to fall backwards, just like Gomer did. She went back to that that she knew, that she was familiar with. But God continued to what? To pursue pursue her. her. Yes, he did. And that's what's so good about our Father, because he loves us with an everlasting love. That is absolutely excellent. And so as we prepare to look at um, more of the contents of your book. Mm-hmm. What chapter uh, do you think that stands out the most? <laughs> you know, what, what chapter burned in your heart the most as you were writing? I think probably the, book, the story of, of, of Gomer mm-hmm. because it was such a tremendous demonstration of the amazing love that God has for all of us. And then I concluded the book using the story of Rahab the prostitute.